Frick frag, I was taking an oil bath. Or at least that was the fear of stockholders at ExxonMobil and Chevron shareholder meetings May 27th, who ardently rejected anti-fracking proposals and even more soundly rejected resolutions from environmentalists who tried to plant so-called climate change experts as Trojan horses on Big Oil's boards. Ha! Not happening in the current big oil climate, where about the only change oil execs are willing to embrace is an oil change, if they could only find a way for their customers to change their oil more frequently, like maybe every 2,000 miles instead of 3,000. So why are the big bad oil companies so cheap? Actually, they appear to have genuine profit concerns this time as Middle East oil barons are attempting a two-step plan. Step one, they plan on dumping cheap oil worldwide to break the backs of the American oil infrastructure. Step two, after American oil companies fold their unprofitable American oil tents, Arab sheiks can mop up the cheap oil and announce newly discovered oil scarcity, and along with it, you guessed it, soaring prices, due to the, uh, scarcity, of course. Well, regardless of what you think of big oil, you've got to hand it to those rascals. They certainly seem to know how to embrace an old American tradition, making money.